So today I'm headed in to get some new tires and I just kind of wanted to share my experience with probably the best set of tires that I've ever bought. Having driven Toyota off-road trucks of some type or another exclusively for about the last 10 years, I've, I've been through a fair amount of tires. And this last set of tires under the recommendation of a lot of different uh, overlanders out there in YouTube, you know, talking about having rave results. I went with the Geolander, Yokohama Geolander uh, XAT, which is kind of a hybrid all-terrain in the sense that it's, it's a more aggressive tread than your kind of standard all-terrain tires out there. And, you know, typically when you choose a tire that has a fairly aggressive tread, has good performance off-road, you tend to lose some some mileage you know you, you don't get the same kind of longevity out of a you know a tire like that that you do uh, with some of your other you know especially like highway type tires and i've been absolutely amazed at how long these tires have lasted especially considering i didn't really do great maintenance on them i only I only used or uh, rotated the tires about three times throughout the life of the tire. And I got approximately, I don't know the exact numbers, but probably over 70,000 miles out of these tires. And I probably still have another five to 8,000 miles left on them. And that's just an amazing amount of wear life out of a tire that is a high performance off-road tire. Now it's not gonna do as good as, as, you know, like a straight mudding tire, but I would say that the performance is kind of right, you know, not that much under a mud tire. So it's got good grip on rocks. It's got good, uh, you know, performance or decent performance in the mud. And in general for overall overlanding, it's, you know, it's a great tire. Now I had Neato Trail Grapplers before and they had a little bit more grip, but I had just a terrible longevity with them. You know, a new set of tires I got, 30, 35,000 miles out of max. And, you know, these Geolanders, they're a little bit harder compound. So the grip on rocks and things is gonna be just slightly reduced. But for that trade-off, I got literally double and then some, the mileage out of them. And so for me as being like an overlander, and what I mean by overlander is like my, my off-road truck is my daily driver. So I'm, I'm gonna be driving this on the road more than I'm gonna be driving it off-road. So when I choose a tire, I need something that kind of performs great in both worlds. I need something that is going to, you know, make sure I don't get stuck off-road but also I don't want to be changing out tires every 30,000 miles. And I don't want to be dealing with a ton of road noise like you would get from a straight mud tire. Now, I'm not going to say that the Geolander uh, is, has got the best road noise, but it's, it's pretty daggone good for, you know, a tire with this much grip and this much tread. So today I'm going back in, I'm getting another set of them. You know, I've been real happy with them, uh, you know, 70, to 75,000 miles out of a tire with a thick tread like this is really unbelievable. So, you know, I don't, I don't have any affiliation with the company, not trying to sell you on them, but if you're out there looking for a great tire that is good on-road and good off-road and it's gonna last you a really, really long time, I don't think you can go wrong with the Geolander, Yokohama Geolander XAT. So, you know, go check them out. Well worth your time. The next thing I want to talk about is tire size and what's the best choice for most people. I think there's a lot of ego in choosing tires and most people always think that bigger is better and it, it's just not the case. They want to look cool but they don't really consider the trade-offs. While bigger tires are certainly higher performing on tougher obstacles, they perform badly in every other metric. They greatly reduce gas mileage, require more expensive mods to fit on most rigs and they increase wear and tear on your suspension. When building an overland rig, the purpose is to build a modular rig that takes you a lot of places and does it without braking or needing to refill the gas tank every 200 miles. Now, there's a big difference between a purpose-built wheeling rig for rock crawling and a comfortable overlanding style rig built for camping and long distance traveling. 
You've got to remember that for every inch you add in tires, you lose gas mileage. That's why after running 34s for the last couple of years, I'm switching back to 33s. I, I just don't see much of an advantage to the slightly larger tire. To me, gas mileage is far more important than, you know, being able to get over the biggest rock on the trail. You know, your greatest asset with a four-wheel drive rig is dependability and how far you can travel without being tethered to a gas station. And if you've ever driven a decked out Toyota or a Jeep, you already know how bad the gas mileage is to begin with before you even add any, you know, off-roading, you know, equipment to it. So, uh, so don't think that you can't get over insane obstacles with smaller tires. Uh, with decent armor, a winch, and some basic recovery tools, there isn't much you can't do with smaller tires. As a survival instructor, I'm always pushing software over hardware, meaning get more skills, not more gear. Oftentimes, real-life survival situations happen when off-road vehicles break down in the middle of nowhere, and usually this happens because of lack of skills, not lack of equipment. But don't take my word for it about tire size. Listen to some of the best overlanders on YouTube from Four Wheel Drive 24-7. Graham Cahill is my favorite overlander to watch, and he's been you know, doing insane obstacles in Australia for decades on 32s and 33-inch tires, and I, I'm going to let him share his, some of his thoughts on tire size. Tyres are one of the first things to upgrade on any new four-wheel drive, and with good reason too. You see, OEM tyres are generally designed for highway use only. If you want to go off-road, you need to look at aftermarket specifically developed tyres. Now while that is fact, there's a lot of myths that surround exactly what tyre size you should get. I'll be the first to agree, big tyres on a four-wheel drive look tough. However, I'll back that by saying they certainly aren't always the best choice. I've never run tyres larger than 33s on any of my four-wheel drives, and I've seen more tough tracks and epic locations than most, with zero drama. Next, by opting to run far larger tyres, you are now eating even further into your lagging fuel supplies, because bigger rubber means higher fuel usage. On a long-term lap of the country or your annual holiday, this increased spend can be very significant indeed. Of course, it also means you are having to work your engine harder to turn bigger tyres, which, if performance is already lagging, could make progress downright hard work. And if you're towing, this is increased even more. Then of course, there is the very real need to store a spare tire, or in some cases, two spare tires. Increasing your tire size can make this very difficult indeed. The bottom line is that if getting further, doing more, and checking out as much of the Aussie bush as you can is high on your bucket list, then choosing the correct tire size is critical. Real four-wheel drive tires are built correctly for greater wear life, puncture resistance, and optimum traction, not just built big. All right, so there you have it from a, a legend in the overlanding community, probably the best channel out there on overlanding and off-roading. You know, the guy has just been everywhere and over everything with 32, 33-inch tires. So, um, you know, that's a wrap on this. If you guys have an interest in learning some survival skills, we've got a 45-day survival instructor program, tactical programs, medical-related stuff, you know all to increase your overall survivability when getting out there in the bush. And for all you veterans out there, our 45-day program is GI Bill approved. So, uh, you know, get off the couch, come out and train with us, and we appreciate y'all as always. Subscri uh, subscribe, share, and like, and Sigma 3 out.